In this session, we'll see about serializer in data processor transformation. So serializer is opposite to a parser. It converts XML to other formats like Microsoft Excel, text document or an HTML document. So you can create a serializer in two ways. Either we can invert uh, the configuration of an existing parser or edit the script and insert uh, serializer components. So it is usually easier to create a serializer than a parser because the XML input is uh, completely structured. The structure makes it easy to identify the required data and write it in a sequential procedure. So in this session, I'll be using uh, the XML source that we had created in my previous session uh, in the Uh, parser so this is going to be my XML source file and uh, this is going to be the XST document I'll, that I'll be using same as uh, I used in my previous uh, parser so uh, now let's start creating our data processor transformation so go to new transformation next so here uh, like parser go to objects add a new object it's a script next next so here you need to select serializer so I'll be converting the X employee XML file to a comma separated file in this session so add reference schema object which is employee schema this is the XST file which I had shown you earlier and uh, this is the example source so we'll select uh, the XML file output which we created in the parser so finish so now if you see uh, this is my source so I want to convert it into a comma separated file so if you check here I want to convert into a txt file so now let's start creating our anchors so if you check here, there are uh, some uh, six to seven types of uh, serialization anchors. So the basic is the string and the content uh, serializer. So the string serializer, uh, it writes a predefined string to the output. Uh, it is like the inverse of the marker anchor, which defines a predefined string in the source component. So it uh, string serializer it writes a predefined string to the output so other important one is the content serializer it writes the content of a specified data holder to the output document so it is inverse of a content anchor which reads content from the source document in parser so others are one is the alternative serializer which uh, defines a set of alternative serialization anchors that are nested below the parent uh, serializer for example if the input xml might contain a product element or a service element but not both so if you want to serialize whichever element is in the input so using the alternative serializer component uh, we can nest two content serializer, uh, serialization anchors so we can configure one of them to process the product element and other to service so others are the delimiter section serializer group serializer you can find uh, more about these in help content uh, in our informatica help contents so now let's start uh, the first one is the string serializer so in string serializer we will give uh, what are all uh, so in the string we'll define name uh, sorry first name
last name department and start date yeah so these are the column names for my comma separated file so after the string serializer I am creating the content serializer which will write the content of the specified data holder so for example my first is the first name so in content serializer so opening string and you have closing string and the data holder so in the data holder we will specify that it is the first name so after the first name last name department and start date I want my content uh, to be uh, displayed in my second line so in order to do that we need to give the next line so for that uh, press control a 0 1 3 uh, and again control a 0 1 0 so this this is the ASCII code for my new line uh, write this content in the new line so okay and then next we'll create another content serializer So open it. So after my first name, uh, I want uh, a comma. So comma. So you can specify opening string, closing string based on your requirements. How you want the output uh, document to be like based on that you can define. Okay. So next, our last name is done. Now to our department, go to content. Okay, so open this again. The opening string has to be a comma, and uh, the data holder is department. Okay, and our final content serializer. And again, here a comma, and the data holder is start date okay so now this is done let's just run this data viewer to see how my output is so we have got our desired output first line has a column names and the second line is the data comma separated data so now save this and uh, I'm using the same mapping as I used in my uh, pa uh, parcel so here uh, uh, the output is an XML file so uh, what I'm going to do here is I'm taking my serializer data processor so the output from the parser is the input here and uh, I have created a file so employee data is the file okay and to this I'm giving my output so now let's validate this okay and then run this mapping So serializer executes the serialization anchors in the sequence of their definitions. So the serialization anchors write data sequentially, always appending it to the end of the output document. So if you check here, so I have the XML output here and in this if I run so I have the output 
get a file with the following data so the same is written to my target file so if I check here this is my output so for more go to a to z informatica.blogspot.com thank you